we've just come up from Scourie down the very narrow, twisty, windy road to Tarbet here, a little tiny hamlet where we're going to catch the boat across to the island of Hander. It's a balmy 21 degrees here at the moment, amazing, and a wonderful view across. The island is owned by the Scourie Estate, which is Scourie maybe come through in the way over here, uh, and it's managed by the Scottish Wildlife. historic village which was last inhabited in 1847. Um, there was potato blight came to this island and so the islanders actually asked the Duke of Sutherland if they could be sent to Canada but when they got there there was potato famine and blight over there too so it was a difficult time for the next few years. Puffin Bay, where we can see the Fulmers enjoying the wind. Puffins can be seen on the grassy banks, but not by us so far. And seals can be seen swimming in the sea, but again, not by us so far. Behind us is a small lock where the skewers are gathering to bathe and drink. And the rock that we see is the great Torridon sandstone the bedrock of the island over 1,000 million years old. Stack is a huge tower of Torridonian sandstone set apart from the main island. It holds an incredible density of seabirds. The stack is nearly impossible to climb from the bottom. More people have stood on the moon than have reached the top of it. The highlight of the trip to Hander Island was seeing the puffins. At first we couldn't see any at all where it said Puffin Bay, but we moved on to the, the Great Stack and beyond there, and suddenly we saw them swooping down and then going up onto their ledges, and they were so obvious and such wonderful colours. And uh, One came up and then two and then three, and then they flew off again. It was wonderful, and you could see them with your naked eye, you didn't have to use the binoculars necessarily, so that was great. Bay, 
where you can see eider ducks and oyster catchers and also seals which are bottle here which means they stick their noses up out of the water also if you sit quietly for a while you might see an otter <laughs>